Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to change the voice in Apple Maps. I'll be showing you how to do this on your iPhone, so have this device on hand so you can follow along as we go through. Let's jump right in. This is super simple, it's only a few steps, and so firstly we're going, we're going to launch our settings, and then we're going to scroll down until we find Siri and search. We're going to go into here, and then we're going to click on Siri voice. Beneath variety, we have a bunch of different options to choose from. Because my phone is in English, when I select one of these, um, it's going to remain in English, but an accent will be applied. So if I wanted an Australian Hi, voice... I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Once you select one, it's going to give you two different voice options. And once you have these both selected, it's going to automatically be applied to your Google Maps. And so anytime your phone is giving you directions, it's going to have the Siri voice that you selected on it. Another thing to note is that um, depending on the variety you choose from, there may be more voice options. For example, the American option has five different voice options that you can choose from. As a bonus tip today, I'm gonna to show you how to activate the Hey Siri option. Siri may not be turned on when you first get it, but there is a way to go into your settings, turn this on so that you can make verbal requests to your phone to set alarms for you, to send messages for you, to map a different route while you're driving. This is all really useful and you can turn it on with a simple press of a button. So we're gonna launch our settings. I go back into the Siri and search and there's a couple things we wanna select. So first, the first option, listen for, we're gonna click on this and if it was off, we'd want to make sure that one of these two options were selected. Hey, if you're finding this video helpful, you can also support the channel through super stickers. These basically just help fund the channel and it helps us continue to create content for you guys. Thanks again, and let's get back to the video. Next, beneath this is the press side button for, um, and if it's turned on, it means that the only way to verbally ask requests to Siri to do things for you, you have to press and hold your side button, which isn't as convenient as just verbally asking. So what we wanna make sure of is that this option here is turned off. That, that way I can simply go, hey Siri, I can make any request I want. Alrighty, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you found this helpful. Thanks for watching, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one.